The Spin-Off Podcast Network. This is Kiwi is back for a brand new season with more inspiring kōrero from special guests including rugby player, father and role model TJ Peronara. My family bring me joy. Rugby brings me joy too, but it's not the same joy as my family brings me. And global dancer and choreographer Kirsten Dodgen. For some reason people think I'm very intimidating. Listen to the new season of This Is Kiwi, brought to you by the Spin-Off Podcast Network in collaboration with Kiwi Bank. Available now wherever you get your podcasts. Kia ora, I'm Alex Casey, Senior Writer at The Spin-Off. We wouldn't exist without the ongoing support of our generous members. If you're able to, you can make a donation at thespinoff.co.nz slash donate. Welcome along to The Real Pod. This is your reality TV and... Real life in New Zealand recap. <laughs> I'm on a red. Oh, we're all on red balls. We're all on the ball. We're all on the ball. Do um, you like blindfolded poop dodging fun? <laughs> Just out of interest. You can't spoil it so early. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a. <gasps> there's a mold for it. It's just a non secateur. We've got a. Um, we've got a pearl of a real review coming up for you Incredible. today. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, my name is Jane Yeah, I'm joined by Alex Casey and Duncan Grieve with the spin-off with very special thanks to Nando's. And let's just talk about the event of the year. <laughs> you, you That's just, what Spy's calling it. it yeah. is, it's the event of the year that you hopefully it's have heard about by now. Television event, yes. It's our very corny Christmas happening at Nando's St Luke's this coming Monday, the 12th of November at the clock. Wait, do we have this Monday? It? No, it no. is. It is. It is this Monday. Oh my god! Oh my god! We haven't <laughs> done anything. No. <laughs> this is what. I... Hold on, I need to check my calendar. It is this Monday. Are you Are sure? A hundred percent. I thought it was 12, like right? September still. No, no, it's this oh, Monday. Oh my god! I can confirm that this is not a test, or and you're not acting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had a week. We don't have a week. No. We've got oh, four days. My god. Okay. I brought in my tradies. Trady undies. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be giving away four pairs of tradie undies, unworn. You're going to wrap, wrap your optic I have not nerves. seen my twig or my berries. <laughs> Is this an opportunity for just us to just like get rid of some shit lying around the house? Yeah, because yeah, well, I, I bought them. Like, these were bought for me. <laughs> They're not like a promo. <laughs> they look like a possession. What was wrong with them? They're just a size large and I've got a medium sized bum. How do you know that they, that, that they were the wrong size? Just vibe. You tried them on? No, I didn't. You tried on one no, pair? I didn't. No, I didn't. How did, did you, you hold them up? Did you do the round the neck trick? What? You know the classic? <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't know. When you buy je- if you can fit jeans around your neck, like, sorry, excuse what? me, the that way. they'll fit around your waist. What? Yeah. Your, your no, 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 but like folded, like one side around the neck. Like a sec- one side, but how no, do you do Yeah, because it's in half. Cause your you're jeans not putting are... them all around. <laughs> you're not wearing your jeans all the way up to your neck. But your like neck the circumference is... of your neck is half the circumference it's of your crazy, waist. It's that crazy, you know, and also how your foot is like this distance. It's like that thing. Is it? Is that like a sacred law of nature? Yeah, it's a sacred, Give us that it's jump a sacred law. It's sacred science. I don't think this works for me because I'm carrying like extra tub around my tummy. But is this another like trick? I've got on my neck. No, I'm just going to try because I assume if I do this. Hang on. This is terrible podcasting. Sorry. So you're gonna Jane's putting it on like a Superman cape. This is uh, a but, but I'm noting sort of we are at polo. Mm. Oh no, it's not gonna work unless I try and put it on, is it? <laughs> you no. Put on, wear my not. shirt <laughs> as trousers. None of this There's is a good little easy. Darren Brown trick to steal that shirt though. Content. There's new Darren Brown. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just it's, what's called, it it's called Sacrifice, which is freaking terrifying. Whoa. I haven't watched it. I'm real keen to it. It's on screening. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Oh. Surely it's giving up your child for something. It has to be. What can he do next? No, it's, I think it's a human sacrifice. Yeah, a yeah. child. We're, we're, oh, oh, I see. Giving, not giving it up to like see you later, but giving it up isn't like <gasps> way. on an altar. Either way, oh both God. are pretty bad. Hey, listen, let's just whip back to St. Luke's if you will. From oh, yeah, oh my sure. God, the event is so soon. Okay, the so event so is so Monday cool. 12th. There's been a huge amount of interest in the Real Pod Corner. I'd say roughly 45. We've taken away all barriers. To entry, we had originally we had all these ideas about we were going to do Secret Santa and we were going to do this. No, it's and do just that. show it's up. Just eh? show up now. Just it's show too up. soon. Have There's too nice much time. to do. <laughs> have we told Colin? I don't. Uh, no, I've no. You've, I haven't. But hang on, I do believe. I'm scared he's going to ask for a fee. He's going to ask for a fee, and we have nothing to give him. What? Well, Trady undies. Trady Yeah, he's not a large. No, he's a wee man. Yeah. Um, we we can um. 
Uh, I feel like we're all yelling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just thinking. I'm really panicked. But it's going to be chill. It's going to be so it's chill. Be so Maybe it's too chill. Like we're not doing like a speech or a presentation. Yes, I don't you think are. there's any prezzo. But old mate um, Clayton from Bakes is going to come. I'm calling it Bakes now. I love I like Clayton on Bakes. Um, I, I think he's going to come with like baking. That's great. Oh, here we go. He's so Sweet. ambitious. And baking something I made on Tuesday to prove I can do it correctly, but can't bring oh, that. I don't oh, hang on, bloody scones! But, but can't, I love scones. But can't bring oh, that along. Oh, put, it the bread. put it in the bread. No, yeah. So, yeah, but he said. Do you not like bread? No, not as a treat. He just said he can't. <laughs> he can't bring it along. <laughs> he can't. He said he can't bring it along. <laughs> not as a Why treat. Why can't he bring it along? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. What he's oh, it's bring a heated, it's a heated some, atmosphere. This is live. JT is coming. JT might be bringing Adam. Adam. <gasps> no. I have not confirmed that, but I'm sure now that I've said it. I'm going to invite Harry Jowsey. So. Harry Jowsey. Okay. Should I invite the champagne lady? We're just basically invite, like, anyone can do this. At they don't time. have Jacquard at pe- Nando's. Has no. anyone got any interest in Kerry from season one of The Bachelor? Yeah, big time. Constantly. I season saw two. her at season Newmarket two. the season other two. day. Season two. Because I've got, I've got ins with her. Kerry Juice. Kerry and Juice. Hayden, do we want Hayden there? He'll eat yeah. everything. He will eat everything. Yeah. But he's no, also but listening. He's also, Tell he, him, we'll do it this way. Hayden, if you're listening, you're welcome. Be, yeah. Bring your own food. What can we say except <laughs> you're welcome? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Um, so just keep an eye on our real podcast. We're going to get a proper invitation up, though, right? Well, yeah. we're going to get a graphic up. <laughs> I'm looking at Tina. <laughs> Tina, can you make a graphic Tina, we need something and we needed it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get a graphic up. A on, graphic? A graphic. I put that baby in a corner. Just in costume. the corner, though, right? Not on the main page. Yeah, that can be the main this is the worst it's not podcast. for the mainies, it's for the corners. This is the worst like podcast. The worst podcast. <laughs> it's the worst podcast. It's the worst podcast. Lo- Wayne is like shaking and rage right now. I'm so sorry, sorry Wayne. Wayne. We're really sorry, Wayne. Okay, anyway, so our Facebook is facebook.com, facebook.com forward slash the real pod pod. Our Instagram is the real pod pod. <laughs> and our hashtag is real pod. I just think, face, you're just what? trying to scooch past all my lovely notes in that, in that rundown there. I have huge there. news regarding ce- celebrities at Nando's. I have huge news regarding celebrities at Nando's. Sam Smith ordered 35 chicken burgers from Nando's and 17 rounds of large chips. None of them were peri-peri so. No, that's ridiculous. What? That is madness. That, that fact, <laughs> like that's almost a like, you know how... Um, they have that like advanced AI which can predict when like you're gonna be pregnant or you're gonna do a crime. <laughs> I reckon that ordering all those chips out the peri peri, that's a, you're gonna do a crime. <laughs> Something not right about you. I you assumed know? when I saw this I have new, huge news regarding celebrities at Nando's, you're talking about our Nando meetup and we just done that. No, 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 no. no. Okay. More international celebs, Drake. Yeah. But we might have talked about that we already. Yeah, and a man called YG. <laughs> I don't know YG. who that was. YG he's loves a Nando's. a wonderful rapper. Well, wonderful well, rapper. his first album was very good. I think also he's sort loves of Nando's. a bit sense. Okay, also, Alex, you had a lovely Nando and a film on the Oh, weekend. yeah, I had a sit-down meal on Saturday night. I went to see A Star is Born. With some oh, of my, yeah. Uh, oh, my God, did you cry? My, no, I was cracking up the entire that time. That is not oh, that's, funny. That's... It is not a funny movie. <laughs> It is a funny comedy film made by a very serious man called Bradley Cooper. What? What? I hope you didn't laugh at the end. Because you're normally um, a total you're a sap. Monster. You're I a didn't monster. laugh at the end. You're a monster. Big time weeper. No, but then I went to see like I went to see this movie. Um, it was about guide dogs going through their their guide dog school, and I cried from the first frame. Okay, listen. I also just want to add, the hero effed up pretty bad with the Star Is Born because they they ran an article this week that was like. I don't want to say it because I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's not seen the movie. But they were like, oh, a the star is born. Thing. Yeah, the sensor is, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then in the article it says, spoiler alert. And it's like, you actually said it in the headline mm. already. Like by the time you've clicked through the article, you already know. We mm. need some sort of inter- international convention on spoilers mm. to be rolled out. I mean, don't formats. put it in the headline. Yeah, for a start. Because that, that, the headlines be are unavoidable. High in the charter. I'm going to tell you who else spoiled that film. Uh, Luke from Married at First Sight. His, he went to, I heard this through my social grapevine, he went to a flat Halloween party dressed as the massive spoiler from A Star is Born. Ooh, is that? Which is a controversial costume it's on its very own. It's a very controversial costume on its own. I know. See, man, I see. I'm Still cracking it. people up. <laughs> Still chasing the edge. <laughs> I'm but, um, points off, I say. Crazy film, but amazing dinner. 
gorgeous dinner at Easter oh, Tart. Yeah. Tell us more. Yeah, <laughs> we got I the saw Easter that. Tart. My friends who hadn't had a sit down at Nando's, could, they couldn't believe themselves. Is it? Pretty sure. Easter Tart. It's potato. It's got a bee in it. It has actually Esta still a <laughs> I heard the original the other yeah, day. Yeah, it's better. That was crazy. Um, yeah, anyway, my friends couldn't believe it. Sorry, get, I wasn't yawning at If you have Nando's. friends to impress, get an Estatata. Estatata. Well, Estatata. 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 Don't sound right. You say Estatata. That's my copyright. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get your friends one of those. Because they, they, they couldn't believe it. <laughs> couldn't believe it. Okay, that. listen. <laughs> it's such a niche. Coming up on the podcast, we recap. Three reality TV shows, <laughs> Project Runway, MKRNZ, and The Great Kiwi Bake Off. We have got, as I said, a real review for the ages. We're right up in Colin's cranny and we, we're keeping up with the Hoskinses and there's all sorts happening. And um, it's the return of the Sinal Countdown Oh, my as God. Well. Thank Christ for that. Yeah. Anyway. That's probably about as soon as our bloody didn't Christmas party. No, it didn't. We forgot, we forgot to return it. So use open, the poop. Oh, open the poop oh. with a pen. Open the poop You've with a pen. You've already got a pen. Normal conversation. Open the poop with a pen, would you please? That's why you're the producer. <laughs> In real news this week, um, Otty, there's only one, uh, she's got a DUI. On the night of the big party where Gareth got together with... Well, she was, yeah, <gasps> was, she was probably drinking herself into oblivion because her sure. husband was hooking What's up with... Vibe? I don't read the <laughs> just story. guessing that. I'm almost certain that that's true and I don't know how I know it. No, but I mean, how fast do you go to court, though, um, when you get charged with that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'll, 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 I'll um, Google it, Google it, while you guys <laughs> talk amongst yourselves. I mean, it didn't... It wasn't a huge surprise. To see that headline. Well, Bailey's for breakfast. Anyone? Bailey's for breakfast. She was probably just on her yeah. way. She was probably just on her way to work after <laughs> breakfast. That's rough. Um, but anyway, so oh, that's a rough time. First, she has a marriage breakup. I mean, that's distracting as all hell. I'm Alex. sorry. I'm trying to open the poo with my teeth. <laughs> Again, Tina's doing the evil. Sorry, I forgot we're doing a podcast. I'll put it down. <laughs> we. Oh, we doing a oh. podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the incident reportedly occurred on October 28th, the same day as the explosive. <gasps> the same day the explosive finale of Mass aired on three. So that yeah, that they were all together in they were they had a reunion. Yeah, so uh, like a reunion. My story stands. Wow, mm. what, a, what a huge reporting. night! What a headline birthing night! Okay, um, I just have some quick news about Angel and Brett. Yes. Oh. They did a lovely um, article in a women's magazine and they were like, no, no, it wasn't Angel and Brett, sorry. It was <laughs> the other two. Dan <laughs> oh, and Yuki. Dan Yuki. Uh, the whole point of the article is to say, don't call us Angel and Brett, which is exactly what I just did. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's funny. Um, we're more like Megan and Harry. What? Okay, that's shade on Angel and Brett. Or is it? Uh, is it a, I how? Think, Did I, they expand? Do they show they're working? <laughs> they just show they're working. Let me find out. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh -oh. I'm just not, no, Jane. <laughs> it's a bad time for us. <laughs> I'm hungover. Don't compare us to Brett and Angel. We're more. We're more Megan and Harry. <laughs> Megan, yeah. Megan, Megan, yeah. Megan, Megan, Megan. The big one. Blah, 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 blah. We don't really like that because they're not us and we're not them, insists the Wellington yeah, okay, electrician. Okay. We're just another successful couple on TV. Dan would prefer we call them the new Prince Harry and Duchess of Sussex, explaining, I'm a pasty white boy who's married to a hot chick from another country. There you go. There's the working. Oh, okay. Yeah. That sort of works. I reckon he's using Good that gag. You. Don't you reckon he's using that gag a lot? 100%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at least once a day. And what do you think he enjoys laughing at his gag? <laughs> well, I suspect he doesn't stop doing, laughing. He likes yeah. to laugh. Um, so that's that. That's that story. Sorry, that story. What's this? Great first line. I don't know what this is. The headline oh, is... Oh, just read the first line of the story out loud. Okay, hang on. Okay, this is blind. It's my challenge to you. This is, is like a prank. This is like the first ben. line? The yeah. very first line? Am I allowed to read the headline? No. Okay, just the first line. Steve the cat is in disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Wow, that's a zinger. <laughs> Best first line, Voyager Media Awards 2019. What was the story? Is that story? a category? It should be. Should it's be. about a cat that turned you the stove on by accident. <laughs> Can you imagine all the entries, you'd, like all the how it would change writing if there were, was a best first line well, award? Probably make it a lot better. Mm. Yeah, but it, it's like every, everyone would be Especially like just gunning writing. for that first line. Just fighting around. Um, 
Steve Bronius, um used to do best sentence at his events, mm. and they they were cracking, but they weren't didn't necessarily have to be the opening line, though they often were. So it was a about highbrow. No, it's, yeah, it's all right. Paper cuts. Back to Steve the cat. <laughs> okay, sorry. Steve I'm just... the cat turned the stove on, and now he's in disgrace. Like, I only read the first line. I didn't yeah, actually I read think the that's story. that. So he, yeah, that's he, like he, he, he was on the scrounge though. for a midnight snack. Activated a ceramic stove top, igniting a pot, and sending his owner scrambling through a smoke-filled house. That's a cat trying Steve. to kill its owners. That's the push. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to receive some breaking news. Oh my! Um, <laughs> what is it? I'm, I can't tell you. It's Aww. a surprise. We're not a like good surprise or a bad surprise. Like Steve the cat. <laughs> it's a bit of both. Depends <clears throat> on where you sit. Uh-huh. Anyway, mm. let's talk about Don Bowden's big gig because this is huge breaking news. Uh, Unikim Waiuku Pharmacy are having their world famous <laughs> in New Zealand VIP Christmas event. This is like our event. The first <laughs> except for they've got 150 people and we don't have goodie bags. And we also don't have an MC from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. to kick off the van called Dominic Bowden. That, that is, is so cool. Fucking hard up. Waiuku. Waiuku. It's very early. Waiuku's a bit of a drive. Is he living out that way? Is that his local pharmacy? What's going on? I still see him around Mount Albert. Yeah, I think he lives in the city. Okay, so is he driving out really early in the morning or is he staying That's over? So they're making a the weekend put, of it. What, are they putting him out? Is it, is it a Saturday or what's the, what's the story? Oh, Should we go? It's got to be a Saturday. Not 8.30 on a Saturday, surely not. Yeah, but we can, 10.30 we can do, surely. In this climate, catch the end of it. <laughs> hey, actually, on that note, I'm going to that girls and business thing on mm. Saturday mm. and I've looked at the rundowns. This is the thing we are talking about last week, which has oh, like... Oh, I know. I saw the rundowns. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Erin <laughs> exactly Simpson is on for five, five minutes. minutes. <laughs> and so is Susie Cato. What? And so they're like advertising her is like a top yeah. top villain. They're, they're, they're five minutes. I mean, I'm so it's gonna be the most exciting five minutes of my life. We've already talked for twenty. That's crazy. And why have no one asked us to be on like right girls and business? Oh, you're right there, Duncan. What are you doing? A bit, a bit, bit too loud. Oh. Okay, sweating <laughs> his ears. Um, okay, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Hey, look, honestly though, legit, this looks like quite a time at the, Wa- the Waiuku Pharmacy. Huge day. If you live in the Waiuku region, um, head along. Give us, a, give us a report for the corn dog. And if you've got a, an excellent name for the Apukiko mascot, um, Dominic Bowden, mm. he's going to be giving out goodie get bags and also announcing the winning name for the mascot. Will your mum be going? My mum will now be going. She I, will have so many names at the ready. Who's going to be there at 8? Eight, if you're around there, go at 8.29 a.m. And be the first. It just seems such an odd time to pull in the big guns. You it's know? A, just a fascinating story. How did you come across this? Was this a corn dog? It was. Contri- it was a corn contribution. Dog. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> it, it almost. Is, it's also going to cover off. Um, hang on. I'm so hungry. Dun. It's covering off I'm this for us as well. <laughs> it's the community notice board. We haven't got Paul in today. We haven't even sorted Paul. The I saw guest. I saw Paul on Sunday. Did they you ask him to perform Paul. at the corny Christmas? Nope. Uh, he had lovely shoes. Yeah, he would. Oh, I know what the problem <laughs> is. I need to get on the. I need to get on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> What? This is, what is I'm, 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 this is a genuine apology for this podcast. I don't, I don't think it's right. I don't know what that you're trying to do. Far. I'm trying to just... Because Jane, someone, you normally hold it together. You're trying to find... Is this still trying to find the breaking news? Yeah, you're yep. tearing us apart. I'm really sweaty. <clears throat> can we come back? Can we start with the chicken and come back to break? And then it, cause then it's more like Why breaking news. Why did you play community no, no. notice board? Huh? Because because we just played the Waiuku. I'm saying it's coming oh, it off. It was, I just it was, wanted to... It was a back and out. It was a back yeah, and out. I just wanted to play that stink because we haven't had any good submissions for a while, so... If you guys could get off your lazy asses and send us through some submissions, that'd be great. No, oh, wow. yeah. aggressive. Well, slash take us get off our own. It. Sorry, guys. I, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Really going Nando's. Come now. back to us. God, I'm hungry. I love a cheesy bread. Mm. He's not and distorted a, anymore. And a peri peri I'm chip. disgusted at how much you have copied my husband. Reality <laughs> check. I, I feel like it's the first time I've heard I don't even know you. Are you serious? Brilliant. Yeah. Ben, I mean, I think I tap out on the fat every time. Like, <laughs> <Did you> t- <laughs> I think that, that There's a quote. Tina's sneaking in and adding new material every week. That would be by exciting. Night. <laughs> Let's start with Project Runway. It was, what is it, the, the Resine, Resine Wallpaper Challenge? It was great because it was a 
product integration where they like slammed the product quite hard actually oh i got the stink the one. real ugly <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so ugly <laughs> i was like man rosine are gonna be spewing about that integration. So is that different to the little paint pots? Or is that, that's all Resine? Is Resine like an ongoing sponsor or is that just for that? No, I think that they've got... Because they talked about the paint pots like it was just an everyday, you know, like grab your paint pots, paint mm. your skirt. <laughs> I think, I, I feel like the, the, this was notoriously like the most integrated production, certainly in TVNZ history. <clears throat> mm. And um, so maybe they just had multiple locations. Mm. I noticed the um, Lima wallpaper that old mm. Karen Walker went for. You know yes. what I'm going to say? I know what you're saying. It's from Claire and Agnes Nook. It is from the it's from the media media well, room. Media right. Nook. Not the toilet one. Not the toilet one. It started that, that, whole, that whole scene. <laughs> but let's not revisit it. Revolution. <laughs> it changed the way we all sat. <laughs> Forever? A revolution. <laughs> Re- Sorry, I'm so teamy. It's really distracting. It's Why are you so hot? So so we're on record for the, what is it? 30 degrees. <laughs> yeah, 30, 30, degrees degree, 30 degree week. What? Spiral content. It's going off. Crazy. Um, is it going to happen? I don't think it's going to happen, is it? Was it like it's There's not a lot of time like left. It's supposed to rain tomorrow at bloody Taylor Swift. Um... Judy, no, we'll talk. I, well, I've literally just got like the beginning of the show and the end of my notes. So what else happened? Was I took drama? good notes. I'm glad the chin tat lady is gone. Yeah, that's harsh but true. That's, yeah. Even on her birthday, I was like, you just have to go. <laughs> Look, <laughs> that was really harsh that it was her birthday, but I'm glad that they didn't just keep her on because it was her birthday. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that was cool and ruthless. Um, Mark Moore from Stolen Girlfriends Club. Yeah, what a horny guy. So, <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shit. Sorry, but incredibly horny. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> back. Yeah, it's good to see a sexy back. <laughs> yeah, also, He's like, hot grandma. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Hot grandma was bad. Weird earring. A whole lot. And then they're talking about the, the Teletubby outfit being like, oh, it makes you look big in the belly and like those little flaps at the side make it look wide and who wants that? Yuck. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, it's all about I making mean, these stick thin models look even sticky thinnier than well, ever. How dare you acknowledge you might have a stomach? <laughs> <laughs> um, and breaking news. She did look like a telly tubby. Can we go back yeah, to breaking news? <laughs> yeah, what is it? Okay, so there was a code brown at, um, at a swimming pool yesterday in, oh my this God. Is, in Christchurch. Is this breaking? Well, this is you breaking the format of the show. It's normally my role. Yeah, no, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it. It was at um, Graham Condon in Christchurch. Yeah, does that ring any bells to any of you listening? And um, I witnessed this being documented on Instagram. So what? I, yeah. You, you. The no, no, or are you reading no. someone's voice? Well, no. I'm Do gl- a funny voice then. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I've know? got, I've got, I'm about to play you <laughs> the story. I've had the oh, person who, oh. who, whose Instagram story I was watching, I've had them record a little breakdown of what happened. Oh, my um, professional. Yeah. This is citizen okay. journalism. That's why I've not been able to concentrate this whole time because I've been arranging that on the fly. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, and this is from uh, Rebecca J. Kyle is her. Oh, she's famous. Yeah, she's on. She's we on met her. Oh. She came along to our Christchurch. We were sitting in that sad hotel before the event in Christchurch, remember? Yeah. yeah, she brought her daughter. We were in the oh, having lovely. lunch. Yeah. Mm. Here, we, here she is. Here she is. We'll so her. I took um, my children to their swimming lesson yesterday, and my five year old was just doing his thing in the pool. I was on my phone, wasn't really paying attention because whatever, there's a swim teacher in there, and I don't have to. And then I heard this really big voice basically just yell, Everybody out of the pool! Actually, like that. And they whipped all the kids out of the pool really quick and lined them up, and then put them all through the showers, like actual in this big line. Um, and then they put all these cones out everywhere, like a crime scene, like actually massive orange cones, all these signs up, all a bit of a panic, just for a little sh- poo, just <laughs> one little poo. So Rocky said it was right by him and his swim teacher saw it and um, Rocky genuinely thought it was a rabbit that did it because it was just a little pebble, one little pebble. And the swim teacher told the lifeguard, and he was like, it's definitely a stone. So he picked it up with his hand. Oh. Oh, Holy it's, crap. It's paused. I picked up a poo and a lake loading. once. I thought it was a stone too. <laughs> and, and it was oh. like, oh, that's a stone. So then they got all these kids out and had to wash them and close the pool down. And then he had to go around looking for them, and then he never found one other poo. It was just like a tiny little people poo, and there was nothing else. And I don't know how it got there. Rocky's like, I didn't do it. Rocky did it. I don't know. Someone did, though. Someone pooed in the pool. 
But I've had messages from people, and apparently, so this is in Christchurch, since Saturday, almost every day, the poo's been, the pool has been closed with a poo. Swimming lessons have been cancelled. A new poo? Is there a serial pooer like they had in Dunedin that time? I don't know. Okay. That, okay. was a, so that was an amazing she is submission. a ripping story to An orator. Or, or, yeah. Okay, listen, here's the thing. Option that. I don't, I don't think that Rocky did Are you did listening to Hollywood? <laughs> I don't think. Got your next blockbuster. <laughs> She's applied for the block. Oh, How amazing. did she not make it well, on? Well, no, no, she might. It's for next year. Oh, she year. will, she will. With her husband? She's a... No, with her friend. Mm. Oh, oh, she's it. so good. She's so good. What's her name again? Um, her name's Rebecca Beck. Becca, Becca. B, Body, I love you. Masterclass and storytelling. Thank story you for your commitment. Um, so, I don't reckon that Rocky did the poo. I reckon someone has been disgruntled, like their kid wasn't put up a level or something in swimming, and they've been coming back and sabotaging the swimming lessons with rabbit poos. They've got like a little pouch of rabbit poos. Chicken. No one does people. But a rabbit yeah. poo is tiny. Rabbit poos are tiny, they're like that, yeah. My impression Maybe, of uh, a stone... No, I think she if means like said a little pebble, stone. Pebble. Then I'd be thinking rabbit poo. Look, I can only do what I can do. I can only oh, you did get a lot. information you did a lot. that I, I think get that was a, while that was worth that was a rare instance of us not doing build up. That was amazing. Okay. On this show. Anyway, thank you. Um, where were we? We were on on but the we're runway. On the runway. We're runway. on the runway. Now Judy's weeping. She's done a. Judy's like, weeping. a mess this week. Mark's horny. <laughs> Andreas still has a lovely right. beard. Judy's I want Andreas to follow me around and just tell me that everything's going to be fine. He yeah. is the most calming, yeah. assuring presence, and he's so stylish. He's the opposite of Dean Brett Schneider, who follows you around <laughs> making you question everything you're yeah. doing. Oh, is, is he from Bake Off? Yeah. yeah. What was up with his hair this week? What was... It was just quite sort of greasy. <laughs> I just probably didn't wash it. I was like, come on, Dean. Anyway, um, Benjamin won with his... You know, all all Benjamin was conservative at the front, sexy at the back number. Yeah, yeah was, Mark he was loved that. One. Yeah, it was really like a bit of sex, a bit of skin. He was like, like a bit of skin, skin. so hot. At first, oh. at first, I thought there was going to be no skin, great. but then there was all the skin. And I loved it. I, I had dinner with Mark um, earlier this year. <laughs> did you? Yeah. It was what like did you wear? Did you have a bodice? <laughs> did you have a bodice on? Uh, no, no <laughs> I didn't show him enough skin. Obviously, <laughs> um, it was this weird like. I think I talked about it on the podcast. Um, it was like at, at Clooney and they did like tea matching. He was actually really oh, nice. Oh, you did talk about it. But he on the show, uh, I, maybe it was a stitch up, but he definitely seemed, he was like <laughs> panting and lascivious. <laughs> mm. Have you got anything else to add, Alex? I'm just looking back through my notes. I think Georgia Fowler is now starting to annoy me. <laughs> I think she is. I mean, when you guys said she smiling. was great at the beginning, I was like, yeah. I thought she was great now, at first. Now I'm like, this is too... You're too happy mm. all the time. Like, it's just, it's so much. It's, it's a borderline it's, like a robot. It's a little bit robotic. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But, I, but you know, it's her first show. I think she's got, she's got bags of talent. Well, you know, I guess she, she's got nothing else going on for her, so she's got to make the Exactly. The she's got to make the transition. Yeah. But you age out of modelling pretty quick. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, what I liked was when her and, is it Sally Ann Mullins? Oh, yeah. They were quite mm. savage to um, Judy. Yeah. yeah. And, and I liked that. I was like, good. And actually, Julie was at the bottom, but she, because she had immunity, Beth went home. Yeah. Mm. So it's just, you know, like immunity Excuse actually me. saved her. Preferred which, so she would have, name. do you reckon Judy would have gone? Her name is Chin Tattoo Lady. Chin Tat. <laughs> Chin Tat. <laughs> Chin Strap. <laughs> yeah. If, if, apparently, if, uh, yeah. Which is just, I mean, it's happy birthday. You know? Yeah. Does that mean she's a Libra? Like, when was the show filmed? I have no idea. I don't know. I feel like um... I don't want her to be like one of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's. <clears throat> you're just consulting your notes. I'm just else? consulting my notes. See if there's any other great insights. Benjamin is so regal. Mm. Is oh, he... he's definitely not a human, like or a mortal. It's you know, amazing. like he's not. A, he's not the hoi polloi. What are those animals that are um, have like the bottom of their body is like a goat? And the top a is a human. Oh, yeah, a it's like it's a, a he's a fawn or fawn. a centaur. He's a centaur. No, the no, centaurs are a bit centaurs sort of are quite built. He's a fawn. <laughs> so he's Mr. More Tumnus. Of a fawn. Centaurs yeah. are ripped. <laughs> okay, um, should we move on to MKR? I'm just being mindful. <laughs> oh, of no. oh no, oh no, hotness ranking of just no. I just haven't um, watched it. Oh, you haven't watched MKR. No. Did you watch it? No. Oh, God, Never. you guys. Okay, I, I, so I don't think I've ever seen I'm going to zip late. through really quickly. No, I used to love that show. It's but... actually good this season. Um, Jackie and Nick, they're a married couple from Only Hung Out. They're dentists, and so they called their um, 
restaurant El Dente. You guys didn't see it, so you won't appreciate this at all, but the decor they had for their restaurant was they thought it was romantic and pretty and classic and it was like tacky as all hell. Oh, no. They just threw up a little sharp store in there <laughs> in pink and silver. Um, and they did that thing. Now, I think they did that thing where they're driving along in the car and they're holding their seat belts out so that their seat belts don't sort of cut them diagonally across the middle on camera and, mm. I don't know, make you look maybe a little paunchy or a weird boob situation. Make bosom. Is that okay to do that? It's, safety I mean, wise, safety wise, it's definitely not. Like, I feel it's like definitely weird. Like, production chill need out. to start coming down on that because you see it, people put them under their arms sometimes. Like, that's, you're not. I didn't even notice that's, that. That's, that's unsafe. Crazy. That's unsafe. Speaking of production, um, promotion for Haley Cunningham this week. <laughs> Jane's mate. <laughs> Alex is just. just Who's that? Oh. <laughs> she's like big wig at, at, uh, at Media Week. She's now, now like, she's now like a big, network executive. I think one of like. But she's oh, like a, there are three of them total uh, who report to Andrew Schusterman and uh, I think it's off the back of just years of sterling work making banging reality shows so That's shout out so to cool. Hayley including Squeeze TV let's just put that out there oh, oh, yeah God. look we all make mistakes no 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 that was the, the triumphant return I think that Perhaps. was probably well she would describe as her career peak I'm definitely going to have a coffee with her soon uh, and see if I can't just get out of this podcast now. Squeeze help. again. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. More juice in the women. Uh, what mm. else? They serve black pudding. Would you eat that? Yeah, okay. uh, I love black pudding. Uh, what? what? What does it taste Scottish like? Lady. Yeah, yum. Cooked blood, of course. No, it just tastes like yummy meat <laughs> kind of grit. <laughs> but it's not a meat grit. <laughs> and that's exactly how they served it. They had a corn puree with a... Uh, Puree. <laughs> yeah, that was wow. with seed wow. scallops and, and black pudding crumb. <laughs> that was fabulous. Everyone loved that. Then they had duck corn puree. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. kind of what the event we're having, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> On Monday, we're not we're not pureeing the cornies. <laughs> um, the, then they had so for the main they had duck cooked two ways. One was a breast and one was a leg. That's not two. That's, that's two types of. That's I know, two, but I think they did cook them two ways. But I'm, you know, I'm watching in the background, <laughs> in and out. The breast was apparently great. The leg was dry. Could have left the leg <laughs> off. I've got dry legs. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I've got really dry legs. <laughs> so I can relate. Oh, this is great monopod. <laughs> then they made, <laughs> then they made a mini crock and bush for the. Excuse horse. me. <laughs> Bush. What? what Profiterole towers. Only they weren't towers. They were just three profiteroles. How are you spelling that? Crockenbush. That sounds dirty. It does sound dirty. You guys are talking about breasts and all that. Oh, <laughs> cultured. Um, they're, 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 you know, they're shoe pastry filled with uh, cream patissier. <laughs> Why are you so French? You're so French all of a sudden. <laughs> Why are you speaking fluent French? <laughs> I'm going to show you. It's an amazing Those reveal things. this deep into the. <laughs> Those things. The I'm showing you a photo. Crock and <laughs> All right. It's like the same shit that eclairs are made out of. Yeah, it looks okay. delicious. They, are, I they it, only had it, three. Is it better than a croque monsieur? It's or different. madame? I mean, you have a croque monsieur or madame for mains, and then you'd have this for dessert. I'd have anything right now. <laughs> yeah. Any kind of croque. What does croque mean? <laughs> what does croque mean? Croque. Um, meaning. Uh, Mr. Crunch. Baked, French baked for Mr. Fried. Crunch. No, what? it's not. A croc monsieur. That's croc monsieur. French That's a Mr. For Mr. Oh, Mr. Crunch. Well, yeah, so, a crunchy, a Mr. Crunchy. Mr. Crunch is it's, such a cool name for yeah. something. Yeah. Like, like a wrestling so man. It's so fancy, and yeah, it's just like, just I'll such have a, a Mr. Crunch thing. Because <laughs> it is quite like a non-posh food stuff, even though it's got a posh name, because it's français. In, in bouche, in, in your, bouche is your mouth, isn't it? So a croc and bush would be crunch- la, la bush. Remember them? A crunchy, wonderful mouth thing. band. Crunchy in your boot, in your in, in your, your bush. <laughs> in your mouth. This is too much. Isn't French backwards? What do you mean? When we translate it, isn't their language backwards? So would it be crunchy uh, mister? Is that what you're saying? Crunchy mister. That makes sense. Like mouth. Crunch? And then mouth. Mm. Mouth, mouth crunch. crunch. Well, that doesn't really sum up that amazing profiterole tower very well. Well, this is the problem. The crunch is key because they didn't have the crunch. It was a bit um. of a soggy crock. So, 
<laughs> so they were oh, yeah. they didn't do so oh well with that. God. Cindy and Roger, they're the the serial pashers at the table. They're the couple we saw. I saw them. They're pashing all the time at the table. It's grossing everyone out. Oh. That's illegal. When they get to scoring, it's that classic case. There's these other two women who are like witches, and they're going to be the last <laughs> to cook. They're the ones who are critiquing everyone at the table and saying kind of like nasty things and talking themselves up. But then they give decent scores, which is, right. you know, we see it time and again. And then Cindy and Roger were like, this is way better than all the other teams. All three dishes have been above average. We'll give them a six. Which Out is of like, ten? Yeah. That's not fair. That's not fair. It's anyway, not on. so they scored 81 and they're in second place. Let's move on to Bake Off. Yeah. Yay. It's my favourite place. The happy place. I'm so sad that it's going to be over one day. I want to write a thing about it. It's like, it's... Because you just go through, there's something about it. It's just so much better than other shows. It's such a simple thing, but they've just done every single piece of it really, really well. Mm-hmm. It's so it's so fun to watch. I've got some quite big Bake Off news. Oh Larissa God. from Bake Off. Do you know which one Larissa is? Yeah, yeah. She's, the, no. she's the one she's who's the cool like one. us. Yeah, so she's like us. And she's she the one who kind of fucks it up a bit. Yeah, she listens yeah. to the real pod. <laughs> what? Oh my God. The best bit is her mum put her onto the real pod. Mom, <laughs> even before she applied for Bake Off, that like is she's so she's like amazing. she doesn't listen to the she's real pod because cool, we're talking about it. Cool mom, she's got cool mom. Mom influencer. Yeah, we need to get the mom network going. Yeah, so I mean, if you've got children, make them listen to our podcast. I mean, of a certain age. Is Larissa still there? I'm it's just yeah. She's still okay. There. Okay. She's okay, got okay, the curly okay. brown hair. She's got quite intense eyes. Who lovely, doesn't? lovely lashes. Does yeah. Larissa yeah. have? Yeah. <laughs> I always notice lashes. <laughs> okay, it's bread week. It's bread week uh, on on Bake Off. Um, we'll start with Jeff and his eyes. So mm. there's a rumour doing the rounds, and I don't know the source, but there's a rumour doing around that he was maybe wearing coloured contacts. What? Uh, this week it's he was wearing rumor. glasses, and the eyes were nay so blue. They were dull. They were dull. They were still blue. Was a, well, they were still quite intense. Dark, they would, you'd they? still notice them across a crowded room, I reckon. Yeah. But you, they sure, wouldn't light up your hallway in the night time. Character. He is, mm. yeah. You don't like him? No, no, I was just thinking, can we get his contacts for the, <laughs> the museum? That's intense. He, I think he it made would be all those weird, like, German sounding things, didn't he? On the show? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Hey, I just had a thought, because I know Clayton, I was like, can you get us anything for the, mu- for the museum? And he's like, it's, it's I can't really. I'm mm. trying, but I can't find anything. We need to hit up contestants. Before, before they go on, before but we don't stars. know that they were. Well, in sometimes it. we hear what about, about a contract. People? Always going to send contracts. Get it written <gasps> into. Actually, I've got a bachelor contract somewhere. Mm. Looking around. Print, print that out. Yeah, print that out. Okay, <laughs> sign it. Um, on the show. So, so with bread week, we start off with a ha ha bread with lemon curd and butter. <laughs> um, did you know that ha is spelled with a c? Chala. It's like chala. Hala. Gosh, we're a very uh, international know. pod this week. Um, Vanessa forgot to put in an egg, which is That's crucial. Classic. Crucial. Vanessa's cool. Vanessa is such a man. <laughs> well, I she, love it. she was cool. Spoiler alert. <laughs> She's um, not dead. <laughs> How do you know? She didn't. Mm, sure. Haven't heard from her. But she seemed genuinely happy to be leaving the show, which is quite. Rare. I just love how everyone on this show. So they, like Annabelle was obviously she's won. She went. She won basically week one. Mm. Yeah. And everyone's like going to her for advice on stuff. <laughs> and the, the point where it came to plait the braid. Yeah. Just like every dude in the room is looking over Annabelle's shoulder, and she's right. literally holding a tutorial on how to do it. Annabelle and Benjamin of Runway. Mm. Mm. The new generation. Yeah. Yeah. Very talented. Skilled youth. Yeah. Scarily young. Get out of my face. <laughs> I hate you. Um, I've got Sonali's running late. Not to the shoot, uh, but with her hala. She oh, was yeah. running. She, she was like right on the blimmin, right on the, the nose with the timing. Right on the money. Right on the nose. I love right Sonali. Term, yeah. She did well. She won. Star she, she won. Yeah. Oh, thank God for that. I hope she wins the whole thing. Although, it, yeah. No. I know it's not going to happen. But the star is born. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Josh is driving me. Just go away. Get rid of that Josh guy. sucks. He sucks so bad. Wait, who's Josh? But no, Josh. Josh, uh, Josh is Josh like, jo- Joel. like... Joel. Joel. His name's Joel. Is it Joel? Yeah. I thought he was... Josh cool. is his equivalent on Survivor. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> you you just don't like... You don't want to... I don't want that to association. Yeah. That's ah. right. Um, 
he sucks so bad. But then I didn't like it how like Metal and Sami talked about his bad qualities as if they were good qualities. Yeah, like you just roll, you just try it, and it always turns out great. And he's like, Ugh. but maybe she was naked. Don't even him. know how I got here. Um, he was like when they they're doing the uh, I don't know what it was. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just oh the bread. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. I'll just knead it a bit more. And I'm like, you know that needs more kneading. Mm. You know, like this you is, know. This is personal for Jane. It is. Yeah, you're I'm so all, angry I'm all about, about bread. You are actually. The making of, so, how do you reckon you would have done in this? Terrible. You've made one of those in my life. Mm. I can only make bread rolls. Oh. Can you make butter? Because that was crazy. Oh. I didn't know you could just make butter. You just, you, how do you, you, what, you just what, shake what, it? Shake it in a, a giant. Is, uh, is it cream? No. <laughs> I mean, what's I mean, yogurt? It starts life. And what? then it What's into cheese? I mean, what's the situation here? What, I don't know yeah, what, what cheese is. If you cheese? keep shaking butter, does it turn into cheese eventually? Yeah, like, does it go through, like, different processes? Like, if you start off with milk, it becomes cream. Why are you looking at me? You keep I've shaking never made it, it becomes butter. Things. And then you keep shaking it, it becomes cheese. <laughs> and has anyone <laughs> tried shaking cheese? You... <laughs> and then when does yogurt come in? Yeah. Tina's doing a hand yogurt gesture. Yogurt, you've got to put some mold on Maybe the yogurt. Maybe when you just turn it upside down for it. <laughs> is this is any of this stuff right? Right? I think maybe just the just the cream to butter. I was. Amazed. I don't believe that. Okay. Anyway, um, Sonali wins the technical. How would they have figured that out? Making what? butter. Back in the day oh, when so they were inventing it. things. I probably well, was sitting, in the, was sitting in the back of the wagon they? and they, they went on a on a bumpy ride. They're and... constantly churning oh, everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, the signature bag was scones. Boring. They were all good. I've got that. No, all... no. They weren't good. <laughs> they weren't creative. Can I just read out what I wrote? Just this one yeah, okay, line. And then a, you can draw. I'm coming yeah, in talk. from the okay, boundary for this hot. one. Okay. Oh, no. They all look amazing and Josh is still a dick. But Joel. I mean Joel. Joel is still a dick. <laughs> just reading what I wrote. <laughs> the floor is yours, Duncan. All right. Scones can be delicious, mostly yuck. You can do anything you want with a scone. Clayton proved it. I admire Clayton so much for his creativity and ambition. He would rather fail doing something that, you know, with a bit of aspiration to it than just churn out a boring sun-dried tomato and feta scone. So many people just gave us the boring scone ingredients. Spinach, sun-dried tomato. Feta. Feta. Boring. Boring. Should have been thrown dates, out of the competition. Dates. The dates are sort of fine. No. Ooh, date scones are yeah, like you're it. right, you're right. But if yeah, yeah, just the same old crap. They always put in scones. Okay, sorry, you were saying I was passionate about this. Because I like think you can have nice scones and you be creative. Joel, what? Joel made the most boring scones. Joel, right? God damn it! <laughs> Why is he still in the competition? Man, the hatred for Joel is oh, so strong I, in this room. I, I think he's disrespectful to the format. Well, That's so the problem. So he acts like he doesn't care. Yeah, yeah. And it, but I just, you know, I, I'm like there, there <laughs> are people. It's a bit like a bo- the Bachelor. You know, when they they talk about the girls who are there and they don't, they're, not, they're there for the wrong reasons. I feel mm. like Joel's like that. He's like someone else could have got that rose tonight. Party vibes. As well. You know, Portie was like, oh, I'm here to find love or am I just here for a bit of a laugh? That's a dark category for him to be in. Anyway, Vanessa goes home because she forgot her egg and I don't think look the, same. the scones were up to much. <laughs> so Joel's actually really good looking. It's quite annoying. It's a bad personality. I don't know. <laughs> a bad pe- personality puts you off. Uh, it really does. I would not yeah. Okay. Anyway. This uh, is great. Five out of five from me. It's the nicest thing that's ever happened. And that's the real review. <laughs> okay, we have been, this whole podcast, Alex has just been playing with this. I've been sculpting. Poo Poo. It's poo coloured dough. Tell us what, <clears throat> what so is we got sent, We got sent some stuff from Trade Me this week because they oh, just sorry. released. I know, it was, um, it was amazing. I, do, I sort of, I have suspicions that a corny has something to do with it. But I can't possibly comment. Um, because they just released their list of like the top ten toys for Christmas that are being searched for, and mm. two of them are um, "Don't Step in It," <laughs> which is a game <laughs> where you have to wear a blindfold and try not to stand in play doh poo, <laughs> blindfolded poop dodging fun. And the other thing, are these horrible little machines called Yellies. That's the one we're going to review, right? We can't. We, we can't, can't play really the review poo the poo game. No, we need to put in a lot of time. Can as we well. bring it to the corny Christmas the though? Yeah. yeah Bring it to the Christmas. Well, I know, is it safe to bring that into a sort oh, of a, a culinary environment? environment? Could be tense. 
But the yellies is basically the tagline okay. is like the louder you yell, the faster they go. Oh, and this they're like is great. these fuzzy little horrible things, and they can hear me. Can okay. you hear that? Okay, so give it some. No, oh, not into the mic. Not the microphone, Duncan. Oh my god, this is this is this is tech. <laughs> this is AI. Hello. Oh, are we filming it? Are you filming Mom! it, James? Oh god, Mom! no, no, hang on. <laughs> hang on, I'm shout just... out to the yelly, <laughs> yellies. I feel like this is really bad content. Even my ass. Shocking. It's. Shout out to the yelling. Run, run, mate. Oh, don't. It's like in trouble. Is it going to go on the carpet? No, just don't shout into the microphone. Yelly! <laughs> Yell! Yelly! Move! It needs a, it needs a service. Go! Run! Go. <laughs> So is the idea you get. When it rides up. Well, okay, so it's back. Okay, okay, I think we have to stop playing yellies. I'm so sorry to the corn dogs. What's the purpose of this? <laughs> to annoy the parents. Yeah, forever. Emily Wright was very unhappy that this thing exists. Go, yelly! Being a parent is bad. My children can never know. I'm trying to get my children, one, of, really into one of them in, t- in particular, to not yell. Like, right. is yeah. a base level so of you speaking. you can't have it be. I can't have it be, like, encouraged. Don't look at me, yelly. Because, yeah, LOL Surprise was number one on the list, and that's a, just a very annoying toy. It's just lots of plastic. And, well, and also of lots shit, of, right? like, like, this kind of gritty sort of sandy dough kind of thing oh, that the, just goes the, everywhere. The, the yeah. pet ones that have, have got, like, little pooper scoopers. Yeah. Oh, no. It's all surprise. about the poo this year, I know. Hey? I don't mind a Hatchimal. Oh, I, I, like I, I like a Hatchimal, yeah. Uh, yeah. Big, big Hatchimal's great. Go back to the old days when we used to just play with a stick and a rock. <laughs> I say. God, toys. We never had toys. Or shoes. Or... Yeah, well, or you just had like a, a pick and you were just sent off down the mines. Make your own fun. <laughs> your own <laughs> dig, dig, dig up some coal, otherwise you'll be Go have a look at the yellow shivering bird. tonight. Okay. Make your um, own poos. So, so what are we giving it? I mean, yellies, we're giving like negative 10 out of 10 for me. Alex. I think they're real funny. I give it 10. <laughs> so I have a casting vote effectively. I think it's a really lovely piece of toy design. I, I love its cute little oh mouth. God. You're being silent right I'm, now. No, I'm being Matt Moore right now. It's quite a sexy little toy, <laughs> isn't it? Um, uh, I think it's funny, but I do not want one of my children. I, uh, Can you imagine Vivian with five. that? Can you imagine Vivian with that? Exactly. Uh-uh. uh-uh. I'm shivering. The poo, right. however... Okay. Poo game, which we haven't played, we is haven't just played a very it. funny concept. I'm at like 10 it's out like of 10 concept boobs. alone. You've got like, if nothing else, you've got like a little poo poo maker, little dough yeah. poo maker thing. Make chocolate in there. I don't want my children anywhere near that either because that shit's going to get trampled all over my yeah. house. And but also gives them ideas. Adult party games, for sure. You know? <laughs> <laughs> whip out the twister, adult, whip out the poo, the poo Jane, game. yeah. Keys in the bowl. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't step on it. It's also 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely 10 out of 10. Um, and also handy advice for real life, by the way. Yeah. Uh, that's all. Colin's Granny. Colin's Granny. Colin's Granny. 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 Colin's Cranny. What you got, Alex? Ah, oh, what have I got? I've got a screenshot from, I'm friends with Colin on Facebook. Yeah. And then you get like the next level of, of cranny content there. Um, he posted, I think this was last week, my phone has stopped suddenly. I can't access anything. Please help all my social, please help all my social media following in this moment of darkness that they might never see me again for a couple of hours. Tell them I'm going to be in St. Luke's eating a donut or KFC while my phone is repaired. Oh, hang on. First of all. Not when, Nando's. When was this? Um, sometime last week. Did you see it when it went up? Friday. Why didn't you tell me? 717. I'd have been that's there. That's like a red alert, go straight to the food court. Yeah, that's goes to go to the food court. I've seen Colin at the food court a couple of times, actually. Don't look unimpressed. Well, as it's, if it's no big deal. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. That's an incredibly said, big deal. <laughs> Hold on, I haven't finished. He said, tell them I'm going to be in St. Louis eating a donut at KFC while my phone is repaired, or I'll Naomi Campbell everyone, and then tagged in a mate. Please PM me where our fitting is this morning, or just meet me in St. Luke's. Have a great day, everyone. I'm off the grid, and it feels amazing, poos. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> amazing poos. The greatest uh, speaking, New Zealander. Speaking of um, KFC and donuts, he tweeted this week, I'm on that diet where I eat whatever I want. <laughs> 
fan now, of I it. I feel like I made that gag myself not so long ago. <laughs> oh. Did he rip it off you? I, I feel like he might have. He's got a good thing in one of his bios somewhere. It's like, my favorite salad is with cucumber and gin. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love that it. Is, I, don't, so I don't even reckon he drinks gin. I just think he thought that was funny. Yeah. No, he drinks gin. <laughs> What's happening with the teeth whitening from oh, JJ? Oh, God. It's, it's a become a rigmarole. It's a disaster because now I've backed out of it. Alex is worried about her I'm credibility. Panicking. I'm worried about yeah. her credibility. Yeah. Because influences, it's a classic influences be spiral. warned. <laughs> Alex has sacrificed the opportunity to get free teeth whitening because she wants to be able to write shit about you in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Without being caught. Not necessarily you, but your industry. <laughs> um, but that's me. I got sent some cookie times today. That's yum. I'm totally going to show them on the internet. Oh, yeah, got so no look, problem with that. Look, this fun. is my own psychotic. And also, when I found out it took 90 minutes, I was like, no. That's a long time. And no. also, they do two at a time, which means one of us has to do, go So, solo. in a way, I was sort of sacrificing myself as well so you two could have a nice time and not have to worry about, like, oh, who's the third person? I think she's trying to tell us we've got the worst teeth. That's, that's what's happening there. It <laughs> might be true. We're the oldest, though. We've had we've done more time. Our yeah, teeth have done more time. Thing. That's true. And also, we were brought up in the like probably the fifties. I don't know how old we are. <laughs> and when dentistry was, they didn't even have dentistry. <laughs> it's a relatively new pursuit. No, I'm see. I'm sitting here thinking, Alex, save yourself. We're yeah. too old. Like we're too, it's too late for us. It's still time for me. It's still time it's for like you. Like children of men. <laughs> I assume. I, I I don't really remember what happens in that movie. But yeah, it's become a big thing, and now he wants to get coffee, and I'm all stressed. Coffee's <laughs> terrible for Stacey. Coffee's yeah. really bad for teeth. This he is how he does it. To, that's yeah. what he does. It's that's how he does business. it. I drink black, black that, coffee all the time. That's yeah. how he gets repeat business. Well, we're all yeah. drinking Red Bulls right now with no straw. That's straight into the tata. Now what's tata? Tata. Yeah. Yeah. Steak tata. Tata. <laughs> it's, it's just raw mint. I don't know. It? With an egg on top. I just want to get Mr. all my Bean teeth replaced. Steak, got a, ordered a steak tata. Yes. Oh, so God. funny. <laughs> Mr. Bean's so I'm going to start good. watching Mr. Mr. Bean Mr. Bean again. is so good. I'm going to show you my favourite Mr. Bean photo soon, but um, first of all. <laughs> is it the one of me? <laughs> Looking exactly like Mr. Bean. <laughs> yes! Yes! Far out. There's them every single time. Okay, so blows my mind. Um, Kate is just really excited. The only thing that I've like managed to glean from her this week is that she's really excited about the old uh, the Spice Girls reforming and touring. Oh yes. Sans posh. Look, I thought I didn't care about that. And then I started to watch some exclusive clips released by the Spice Girls and I got chills. <laughs> and I am into it. But it's only UK, right, at this stage? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is my favourite Mr Bean picture. Sorry, I know this is, this is slightly off topic. This is a good pod. Yeah, <laughs> that's a classic, that one. I uh, love that. There's also, can you Google Mr Bean baby? <laughs> that's another good that, one. I just showed it. the Twilight one. You might have seen it with um, <clears throat> Mr Bean being Bella on Edward's back. We'll put it all up on the Mr. corner. Mr Bean baby. Another thing I'd like to we do one know. day we is have that. a... <laughs> She's just seen that's Mr. Right. Bean Baby. I mean, there's oh god, there's the goods right there. That's literally so a photo many. of me. Okay, sorry, <laughs> we digress. Um, and and uh, Mike's Mike's got it added. There was a big thing, new time slot and big time slot changes for oh, Mike. Yeah, I didn't read that. What happened? We've added half an hour onto his show. He's finishing so at nine. nine. Yeah. I always thought it was a bit bullshit that he finished at eight thirty. I guess they were trying to were they trying to promo later, or was he just bored, or maybe they couldn't afford the extra. Two thousand dollars a day. More more. Surge pricing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kate's just, just back to, to, to the Spice Girls quickly. Kate's um, dressed as Ginger Spice twice for costume parties. Oh, you can't do that. Well, never. Can. Reuse I mean, it. never reuse got, a costume. Really? No. Mm-hmm. I've just packed away my costumes that I have used in the last. Like we did Wayne's can, World. Oh, and I had a, cool. I had a, I had a hat that was made. Aw- that was awesome. Far out. That's cool. they did Wayne's World on the project actually last week. That was crazy. Yeah, they did. did. You see that? So yeah, I did. Didn't inspire me. Wasn't the reason. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's it from that lot. Can I have your old costumes? Mm, no. Oh, okay. Doing the attic. Too hard. I'll get them. It's a sign of countdown. Well, it's been a while since Man. we heard that. Um, but in breaking news, <laughs> Simon Barnett has only got 53 days, 10 hours, oh, 6 minutes. That's soon. It's so soon. And fif- no, Is that Christmas? Zero seconds. Uh, yeah, yes, it is. It's like right. It's, it's just after, just after Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. W- Hang on. W- what's going Maybe on? that's the end of the year. Hey Siri. Oh yeah, that's right after Christmas. <laughs> hey Siri, how many days until Christmas? 
It's 47 days until then. Oh, okay, so it's so at so the end, end of the year. So it just comes off contract. So it won't start on January. So this might not be yeah. completely accurate. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Do, do we it? need to, like, reboot history? But we know Maybe. why. We know why he's... he's <laughs> what <the> fuck, Alex? <laughs> Alex has made, like, a, a much a more Neil... Log. Neil. A Neil-looking loggy poo. A neil um, Out of the door. <laughs> you must tell them. I went on to the best of the buy and sell, and someone had, had um, copy-pasted a, an image of someone, like, trying to sell a poo for two dollars like a giant poo in the toilet and it was definitely oh, a kangaroo God. poo like it was sitting on that <laughs> that bit <laughs> why like it wasn't in the water it was on the ridge so it had to oh, be done backwards like someone expressly Selling did it. it so that well i mean i think they're just being lol like it's definitely <laughs> neil but <laughs> they've done you it know, is lol they've done they've they've sat that way knowing they had a big poo coming <laughs> so that they could take a photo of it and put it on the internet <laughs> Because they didn't want it to sink down the east bend. Oh my god, we've gone too far. I'm so, so so sorry. Intense. Sorry. This is this should be like this needs a trigger warning. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind a star is born. We, we actually got out of the toilet for a while there, and I was quite proud of us. Yeah, I brought. Sorry, no, was, sorry. We I shouldn't have made that. Trade me did it. I shouldn't have made that. It was a, um, a big corporate. That anyway, neo realistic poo out of <laughs> dough. Oh well. Alex Casey, what does uh, what does <laughs> what does sign fill mean to you? I don't know. Nothing? Phil. Nothing at all? Did, so we, we, did we talk about this last week? Oh, they, Phil Gifford. Yeah, we didn't Phil. talk about it. Oh, we talked about the pre pro, pro, yeah. production. Yeah, and then we never did it. I don't Snail think we did. Over. Anyway, uh, back in the day, they dominated the airwaves. <laughs> Who's yeah. Phil? He looks happy. Phil Is Gifford. Him? Oh, yeah, he's, he's happy. A, he's a rugby rider. He would make an excellent Santa. He looks like a great Santa. Mm-hmm. If you needed someone to... Spoiler alert. If you needed someone to dress up as Santa. <laughs> <laughs> he would make an excellent Santa. He looks very jolly. So he's coming back with old mate. Yeah, from 92 to 2003, they were judged the best breakfast show in New Zealand on numerous occasions. Uh, so heading old back to to ZB. Cool. And um, I don't think they're going to be on mornings because old mate. Old Hosco? Mate, Hosco's still Well, they could jump on entrenched. at nine, couldn't they? No, nah, because that's where... Um, what's her name? Kerry? Yeah. MacIver? Yeah. Oh, look, I don't know. MacIver? <laughs> It'd be amazing. She <laughs> can do anything. Iconic duo um, <laughs> is going to be. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's where he's at. So we we d- we respectfully um, stopped. You. What's the word? Ceased. Yeah, it was on Ceased. hiatus. It was on hiatus. The sign will count down. We're bringing it back now because he's in the news. He's public property again. Yeah. Um, and we're why, why have, were we being respectful? Because because his wife was very ill. Oh. And we just. But she better now. I think she's doing okay. Mm. When can we start talking about that time that um, the Tom Cruise prank? Wait. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so, so we should okay. mark like the anniversary. Yeah, we that, should, was, that was. Say what you want about Dom, but shit, that was funny. <laughs> that it's was probably so New Zealand's funny. best bullying. Oh my god! Excuse me. What? 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 Married at first sight. Who came out on top in our power rankings? On stuff. What? What? Oh, that's right. They were doing power rankings, and they had a quiz about their power <laughs> rankings. I was like, hello, that's a proprietary format hello. developed overseas that we adopted. <laughs> that's, that's our stolen thing. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, then we've just got the one more thing. The one oh, more thing. The only guys, thing. The, the only lightning thing. pod, eh? Hey? Really raced through it. Yeah. How long? Like, what, what are we looking at, hour long. Is the Nando's here yet? 56 minutes. Oh, oh quick. Let's this bust is, this out. See if we can get in under an hour. Get under an hour. The coin is be so proud of us. It's for you, Wayne. Like and subscribe. Max Key Corner. I know. Max Key Corner this week. Uh, for Halloween, Max Key dressed as a child sex offender. Uh, <laughs> the yelly is going crazy in that news. The yelly does not like that. Did you, did you catch Which the, one? Which one did he? Takashi, uh, what's the name? 69, 69, 69. Oh. Old, old coloured hair and tattooy. Oh. The one that, so here's what happened. Max posted there and... I was just happy to be on Instagram. It, oh, I might have deleted it. At just the right moment, and I saw that, and I tagged in Ra Palmari because he dressed up as a similar character for the spin-off TV, everyone's favourite show of the year. <laughs> I think you might remember. And um, he immediately replied to me. He must have been doing that thing where he, like, replies to everyone who tags, and I just tagged him right, didn't say anything, and he replied with, like, a million... Um, Heart eye emojis. Oh. Do you think that, like, but do you this think... This is not... This is not... Do, do you, but maybe he really, remembers you. Do no, you does he follow you now? Do, no, fuck. Do you think it's Jesus a bot? Christ, no. Do you think no, it's fuck. a... Fuck no. Do you think it's a bot thing? Like, he, he botted. 
No, nah, but didn't... he was doing custom content. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, then he posted a second photo that says the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So, so what's he saying about John? Far out. It's wow. pretty bad. What does that mean? <laughs> The apple f- meaning like your, you know, the apple folder. The the f- she knows what the phrase is. I know what the phrase oh. is. I just don't understand what it means in this context. Well, I think she's, she's trying to and say. Unless he's uh, specifically me- referring to. He's, no, he's the, the, the conspiracy theory. Because you've got that, you've got that um, I conspiracy theory uh, rumour. I have a huge one. Well, I'll tell you if you come to that. the corner Christmas. Mm. The beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> that is crazy. If that's, if, that's, if, even, if that's even half true, oh, that can't possibly be half true. <laughs> then this one goes all the way to the top. Yeah. What's the timing like there? 58. Okay. 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 What else we got? We've got to say goodbye. Cause this Jupiter is, Project. This is going to take us. His manager's commenting, getting involved. Okay. We've got to go because we normally we normally can't just, yeah. we can't usually just say goodbye just really quickly. Can't I just wait. really hope there's some Nando's waiting up. Okay. Oh, I'm Speaking of Nando's, don't, get some don't cheesy forget. Bread. I'm gonna Monday. Monday, St. Luke's in Auckland. Book your flights and your accommodation. You're not too late to get on an international don't get your, flight don't get your from hopes London. Up. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> no, it's going to be. It's gonna We've told you what it's going to be. It's, it's literally just going to be. It's going to be. Don't, us. don't step hanging, in it. We're just hanging out. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's going to be a don't step in it tournament. Okay. <laughs> and, so, and yelly, so many yellies are yelly. Okay, and th- thank you for listening. Thank you, Tina, for recording and for doing a graphic that you're going to do for the um, for the corny event. And, and thanks, Alex and Duncan. <laughs> thank yep. you, Jane. Thank there's, you. There's a new gone by lunchtime out now. Uh, Listen to that. And uh, Alex has got a boring. great piece about Listen celebrities to going to the old, uh, to, to like regular man Surprising. food Yeah, that's, that's cracking. Read that. Spin-off. And um, thanks for listening. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Nando. Thanks, thanks Nando. See you thanks, all on Nando. Monday. See you on Monday. Bye. Oh, God. Are you curious about how business can be better? I'm Simon Pound, and I host Business is Boring, a podcast where I caught it all with some of the most interesting people in entrepreneurship, commerce, and making things happen. Tune in to Business is Boring every Tuesday, brought to you by the Spinoff Podcast Network in partnership with Smart Business Lab. Kia ora, this is Toby Manhire, here to urge you to tune in to Gone by Lunchtime, a podcast with me, Annabelle Lee Mather and Ben Thomas, tackling the world of New Zealand politics, from policy to polling, from scandal to psychodrama. Listen to Gone by Lunchtime, brought to you by the Spinoff Podcast Network, wherever good pods are sold. The Spinoff Podcast Network.